black business owners uh, were bam bam by man with a pew pew. Now listen, I have to make up my own language because in these streets you can't really say what you want to say. But this was reported on the 7th of April. I'm not trying to make light of it, but it is what it is. So this is what was reported. These people have a business and I have their Instagram be beneath this video. I have it for the duration of this video. It's called Watch Your Cooking and it's a, it's a food truck. Now I actually went to look for this Instagram. I couldn't actually find it. So I don't really know what has happened. I saw they had a Facebook page but I hadn't posted on there in years. So I don't really know how their business is doing or whatever. Um, they do have a GoFundMe which I will uh, show at the end of this video as well because this horrible thing that happened to them they really need all the help that they can get and they need all the people that can actually support them they need them to support them if you live close to where they are support them this is a terrible thing that happened they had a business meeting so they have a shared kitchen you know with other people maybe other businesses or whatever where they keep their food stuffs and prepare stuff and stuff like that before they go out in their truck and they were gonna have a meeting with another person who also makes use of the kitchen correction i think he actually owns the kitchen so uh, what happened was that the woman was actually there initially alone these are black people okay the woman was there alone with this business meeting with this white man and then she didn't feel safe so she called the man and the man came and then this is what happened the this other business uh this other guy who also has the kitchen shares the kitchen with them pulled a pew pew on on the both of them basically out of nowhere they're sitting at a table and he just goes to do that and so the woman is recalling this incident and she says she was scared her husband had to tell her call the police now you know people don't just like calling the police like that and you can see the police coming in and and for me for a second i was holding my heart i was like is this going to be another one of these videos where they immediately assume that the black man is the aggressor and they pew pew him and that's the end of it right so this was a very scary situation i mean this guy just out of nowhere pulled that thing out it was very very weird super unprov unprovoked so this is the food truck um it looks really nice very well put together very nicely branded so it's called whatcha cooking and it's a food truck in mesa arizona so again if you're from that area and you can show them some love if they're still operating because i really don't know if they are because this was very traumatic for them now tom toot the guy the aggressor and his wife they run a shared kitchen space so that's I, that's actually their kitchen space can you imagine and then they they recall that it just felt like something was different that day it felt like something was different during this meeting like the man was behaving something was off you know she said he brought her an all lives matter t-shirt which is weird there's a whole black person and you bring an all lives matter t-shirt also for what it's so out of context he came to talk business right and then he was yelling at her and calling her the r word yeah right and then her husband stopped everything that he was doing because she called and was like look you need to get over here because something fishy is going on and i don't feel safe she wasn't feeling okay so he rushed from wherever he was and came over there right and she was actually afraid that the police would attack her husband instead right that's why she she probably hesitated a little bit before calling the cops even though this was a situation where it's like how would you have this de-escalated this if the cops didn't come into play and that's why cops really need to do their jobs because people are now scared to call them and they're supposed to protect and serve this is actually such a tragedy it's terrible that people are scared because they're the only ones who can de-escalate the situation properly and she said you know once they arrived um she literally stopped them at the door and it took them 11 minutes to arrive so in this 11 minutes the man is holding the aggressor down holding the pew pew making sure that he does not you know harm them and um, she said to them please do not k-i-l-l -L her husband she literally had to beg she says she begged every single one of them do not do that do not do that do not do that and odubayo that's the husband's name he can be seen holding the guy as he grips the pew pew for 11 minutes that's a long time so now that toot guy is currently facing charges for aggravated well you see the word there so that's what he's being charged with but unfortunately they let him out the next morning at 4 38 a.m so these people were so eager to let this white man go <laughs> even though lord knows what he was about to do with that thing that he was holding lord knows what harm he was gonna and as they're they're giving this interview in their house you can tell you can hear some kids in the background don't know if that's their own kids but this is like a young couple trying to make it out in this world and this is what and this and this is what happens to them it's actually wild it's wild so the attorney of this toot guy says that oh his client would never describe is that the fact of the matter? He would never discriminate, but what he was doing in this very moment was discriminatory. Coming with an all lives matter t-shirt, trying to irk her, trying to get her to do something or whatever. I don't really know what the purpose of that was. Don't. You see, this is what they do all the time. This is how people get away with these things. Oh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, but he hurt a fly today. Are we going to deal with that? Or are we going to talk about all the other times that he, he, he would never hurt a fly? Life is all about snapshots. The decisions you make really have an impact on the rest of your life. If you did nothing wrong all your life and you're 101 years old and you do something wrong, then you will have to face the consequences it is what it is so that's a lame excuse that's a lame thing to even bring up it's actually ridiculous and also i'm so happy that there's cameras everywhere now because we would have never seen this and it would have been your word against my word and that's only if you survive we need more cameras everywhere heck put them in trees i don't care put them everywhere because some weird stuff is going on these days and we need proof now unfortunately the incident has also taken a toll on the couple's food business as you can imagine because this brought a lot of trauma you know and the woman even said that the wife of this toot who also owns this shared kitchen space said that they should come and get all their stuff.
stuff. After all this, no, she said, actually, as this was occurring, the woman was like, come and get all your stuff. I mean, no explanation, no nothing. Even if she just said that and there was no pew pew involved, it would have been different. Maybe, hey, they just decided to show their racist colors and here they are. But the fact that this guy was trying to now harm them, why not just let them go? For whatever reason, it would hurt their business and this and that. Why not just let them go? Now you want to traumatize them by holding this Glock against against them or pointing it at them. And you want to, what was he trying to do? You know, they, they, they let him off kind of like, well, you didn't get hurt, did you? So, but you're about to see that this had some real life consequences. And why I think this guy should go to prison for a very, very, very long time. You know, they, they're just talking about how they were doing pretty good in their business. They were actually doing good. But then now they're not even sure they can continue and that they remain traumatized by the incident, as you can imagine. You know, this is crazy. So the thing to make matters even worse is that Brittany, the, the lady in the matter, the black woman, says that she was pregnant at the time of the incident and she actually suffered a miscarriage a week and a half after this incident. You cannot tell me that guy did not kill whatever baby was growing inside of her. You cannot tell me that. The actions of this man caused them so much stress that this woman had a whole miscarriage. The life of a baby was taken. That could have been a whole human being walking this earth. So yeah, that is that is K-I-L-L-N somebody, in my opinion. And why that is not seen as such is beyond me. Go find me. It's here. Go to that page. Please help us open one of the biggest warehouse commissionary uh, kitchens slash restaurants. We want everyone to feel welcome because they are. We are victims of a hate crime and we need our community support to help us open a safe and friendly commissionary kitchen. Recently, we were involved in an unprovoked altercation with a local business owner who rented us kitchen space. The owner unprovoked attacked, uh, attacked us verbally and ultimately attempted to harm us physically with a firearm. The altercation was caught on camera and our account verified by Mesa Police. We're seeking support because commercial kitchen space is hard to come by and we may seek um, a brick and mortar location for our business i mean just just look at how how just nonchalant this guy is just pulling the the thing out just like oh yeah and you can tell even from his mugshot this, this is not somebody who has any good intentions just because he hasn't done this before doesn't mean he hasn't been thinking and dreaming about it his entire life this was his moment to do what he had always probably wanted to do this guy on this screen does not seem like somebody who's okay i'm sorry and this is why we can't have nice things y'all because you will suffer and suffer and suffer and once you get there unfortunately um people will still try to tear you down this is a real problem in our communities and he was let out the next morning at four o'clock they didn't even wait till this bird started singing they said listen you're free to go it's 4 a.m in the morning go 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 and catch your freedom go before they make this into a bigger case than it is ah just go just you go <laughs> wow wow it's blatant racism and they're pretending they're pretending they this this is normal procedure this is not normal you guys if you can if you can definitely if you can support this business please do if you're around the area and you know where they're at and you know what they're trying to do please help if you see that truck rolling around please go please go and buy stuff it is hard as it is in these this day and age people are trying to make it and then you have people like this trying to crumble everything this is why we can't have nice things does it have to come to the point where it's the black people who have to own the shared business uh, kitchen space and have to own this and have to own that and we have to own every this is why people stay in their communities we see it in all these different uh races they stay in their communities why because at least they are a little bit assured that they'll be treated okay this is why we can't blend are you seeing the problem what is this the fact that he brought an all lives matter t-shirt shows that this was racially motivated but you know they'll spin it one way or the other the fact that they let him go shows that they don't care they just leave this leave this man wild and free he'll just be out here doing this to the next person you know if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bump stop as long as the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think about the situation like because you obviously like this video not that you liked what's going on in this video but you know you like the fact that this is being brought to light and uh hit the notification bell while you're at it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right stay prayed up y'all god bless mm.